When you have somebody <coughs> like Keanu, who you've worked with for so many years, uh, what does he bring to the table that maybe other actors who also have a background maybe of doing a lot of action stuff, what's, what, what's so different about his kind of approach to, to films like this that maybe other actors don't have? I, everybody's different, but like for this role, for John Wick, we definitely didn't want the stereotypical assassin type. And, uh, you know, we were given advice a long time ago, cast the man. You know, and Keanu, in his, just as Keanu Reeves, is a super hardworking, empathetic, sincere, honest guy. And just what he brought to the role was that at its core. And then, of course, you know, his ability as an actor to bring John Wick to life is kind of the most interesting thing about, I think, the overall film is it's a different type of assassin film. Because he kind of <clears throat> went away and did a movie of his own, which was also martial arts related, and obviously he trained a little bit doing them. Was there anything that you noticed that was different in his approach to maybe the action sequences that maybe he learned from doing other stuff? You know what I mean? Like, is there, or, or is, he, is he a blank slate like each time when he works on a film? He, he is a blank mm. slate yeah. in that he wants the director and all the other artists to like fill him up and then he's mm. going to be the, you know, the vessel, as he calls it. But I think um, the, we actually gave him a different approach this time, and he's talked about it. It's like, we wanted to teach him in real martial arts and assemble like a library of techniques that we could choreograph with on the day. We knew we would be restricted by time and location, and we wanted to be able to make changes as choreographers. And so he's used to knowing the choreography A to B and memorizing weeks it for weeks ahead of time. Ahead of time. <laughs> and instead it's like, okay, now you're gonna do these three moves, remember that move, this move, that move, and we put things together, and he, and by, by the way, he responded great. He was a little unnerved at first, but he, it's, he delivered. It's, we wouldn't have done it if we didn't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, all the Matrix movies and all the Manitoshi and all the, the Hong Kong or, or Chinese style of choreography that it's done, it definitely helps his attributes, his memory, his physicality that's all in there. We just kind of changed the process, but that's not, that doesn't negate any of the, the, the skills that he's picked up. We just tried to get him a different, uh, he came to us and goes, well, he's not trying to force, okay, I've already done these style of margin, this is what I want. He said, like, what do you guys think John will do? And we told him, he's like, oh, that's interesting, I've never done that. But he took the same physicality and the same work ethic into it, we got to dress it up, like Dave said, and we said, well, on top of that, we're gonna try a different process. We'd like to be a little bit more organic. That doesn't mean we don't wanna prep and rehearse. Everything he'd done in the movie, we'd rehearsed just in different orders and pieces. So we kind of did the, the, uh, yeah. There's a really nice fluidity. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your shirt's just unbuttoned. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I told you. <laughs> Sweaters. By the end, of, it's it's open. It's He's like, just like, kind of hanging out. Woo! It's like, how you doing? You know, like, okay, you go. I'm a director. <laughs> but, uh, uh, is, there's a nice fluidity to the way he kind of uh, fought this time around. Mm. I really enjoyed the tumbling and just how the body. Can, maybe can you describe? what that is, because I've never seen it yep. before, that it was kind of fun for me to kind of observe. No, I, I guess this query, if you come up learning in like skills, like if you're gonna do, let's just call it a generic uh, Hong Kong style of mommy, there's kicks, punches, flips, and wire work. That takes a lot of skill and easily necessitates stunt doubles or certainly edits to, to have the kind of kicks or the kind of wire work we want. We wanted that fluidity, that organicness you wanted. So we went through all the martial arts that we really thought were we're good with that, and how do we get rid of all the misses, the wire work? So, well, we settled on, we wanted like, you know, a, a very traditional style of judo, Japanese jiu-jitsu, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu combined with tactical gun work. And that's what all Keanu's training went through. So it was more contact, it was more base, we could stretch out the takes longer. And, uh, you know, it was more interactive with our stunt team, and it feels very manly and very organic and very contact related. And I think that's what gives it that different flavor that most of the audience isn't used to seeing. Um, flip slide, you know, there's there's a really nice array of actors who are actors coming to this. And so what was it like for you to, to work with them? Because uh, there must be like a fanboy going like, let's see a picture. You know, like, what, what was it like for you? It that was, was exactly that was that us, was us like, like that like, whole that's day. Ian McShane right there. <laughs> Ian McShane. And yeah. we had Will well, Wait, he's saying and these lines God. and we're directing them. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a pleasure to have um, such uh, prolific actors you know, working with us, mm -hmm. and um, it was great. Well, when we got the original script, uh, Derek Cole had it written, it, all the characters had a bit of a voice, a bit of a retro, almost like a poetic kind of dialogue that wasn't gonna be easy to pull off just by anybody. So because the voice of the characters and the dialogue was so, I guess, it, we would consider it kind of tricky to pull off, that didn't come off too cheesy or too overtly theatrical, we just tried to bring in the best character actors we could, and you'll see some of these guys, like Ian McShane can read a recipe, 
<laughs> Sounds great. So we, we tried to get cast members that we thought would really bring these characters to life and pull off this voice without changing it or, or watering it down. So it felt like a different world. As, as directors, you know, a film like this could easily have just been a note of just action, you know, mm -hmm. whereas like, I feel like you guys really tried to add more depth to, to, to you know, what was on the, how do you kind of then add on to it? Because, you know, I, I, I'm just curious, because this could easily have just been a video game yeah, type no, movie, you yeah. know. I'm not gonna lie, I think it was hard. It was hard. <laughs> hard to keep the balance, for sure. And you know, there was like, we, we when you attack a, a project, you look for the overall themes of the project. I mean, obviously you start with the character, and then the story, but then the overall theme. And there was this underlying theme of fate and sort of karmic, um, you know, penance that everybody has to pay. And that's what we sort of hung our hat on and tried to make sure that that came through beginning, middle, and end. Um, how do we take that if there's a John Wick 2 to, and, and how do we set that hook? That's a good question. Was it interesting to work with actors who may not have had so much experience with with this type of film? You know, like, mm -hmm. uh, um, and, and how do you, to see them being able to perform, you know, action sequence at the, at the end of the day where they like yes, and you guys are like oh. it's no, it's we're just as excited as they are to get something fresh. Sometimes you have to go outside the box, and <clears throat> to have someone uh, such a great actor as William Defoe come in and go, okay, I'm going to shoot how many guys? and then just to go through it and just see how excited he is and what he brings to it. So he brings this level of acting, which is so incredible and so awesome. Brought that character to life and then, you know, no my good sir. And then, you know, takes a gun away from somebody and shoots three guys in the head. That's pretty cool.